Distant Girls is an interesting story uh, that Ray will probably tell you one day <laughs> um, about a stalker, I think. So, and it, and it was when they were really young. I think maybe maybe because Facebook came out, and then all of a sudden people could look up people from ye many many years ago and and uh, see what they're up to and maybe thought, oh, maybe he was the one or she was the one, uh, even if they were in grade five or something, you know. I'm sure everyone's had a, a small experience with that. And funny, I, you know, in the morning, one morning when I was waking up, I kind of thought of that song. I was in the middle of doing it. And I just thought of putting the ocean or, or waves or something in there and some seagulls just, just as an ambience before the song started. It's a really traditional kind of blues song. Um, you know, if you listen to the pro progressions, it's kind of like, yeah, like a slow sort of blues song from the 50s or 40s even. I don't know, whatever. Um, so I put some slide in it. Again, I think there's a, there's a recording in that one as well. We went nuts on the accordion this time. But that's turned into a great little number too, you know. It's, uh, it's got something special. Got little, little voices in and out of there that sort of tickle your ears as you listen to it. What was that? What was that? Including my little two and a half year old girl. Um, but yeah, cool little song, simple production, definitely not a filler, um, something to look forward to on the record as well that's, again, different, it's just a different photograph of every photograph in the album, you know. Um, I enjoy listening to that one very much. Like my days, when you are near, sometimes close my eyes, and you appear. You fill my head with thoughts I 